A Ben child care business temporarily reopened today with help from a local nonprofit. Early this morning, parents were once again dropping their kids off at Inspired Childhood Learning on Northeast Connors. A few days ago, the school notified parents and posted a note on the door saying it was suspending operations immediately because of its financial situation. But this caught parents off guard and left them looking for child care. Neighbor Impact stepped up, offering emergency funding from the state to cover operating costs for the rest of September until a new provider takes over in October. Some parents who paid ahead on tuition, though, are still wondering if they'll be reimbursed. After many months of planning and millions of dollars invested, a school in Prineville marked a major milestone today. Blake Mayfield explains. The High Desert Christian Academy, a private school in Prineville, serves more than 100 students with 24 staff members. The cost to attend is around $5,000 a year. So we've got a daycare that starts as young as 12 weeks, 12 weeks, yeah, and, uh, and it goes all the way up through graduation. They now have a new location to call home, thanks to more than $50,000 being raised through an auction and donations. The school moved into the former Pioneer Memorial Hospital, which offers 27,000 square feet of space. The hospital was originally built in 1950, but was decommissioned in 2015 when St. Charles Prineville opened. And so one of the things that this facility is going to allow us to do is to be able to house more students. And as you know, more students means that we can keep the, the cost to the parents down. The hospital sat vacant for eight years, but that didn't dampen the interest of the new tenants. It was either this property or bare dirt that we were going to be starting with and doing a groundbreaking and starting from the ground up. At Thursday's ribbon cutting ceremony, teachers and parents gathered, along with Primeville and Crook County officials, to commemorate the relocation. For the principal, it meant the end of a lengthy process. I shed a few tears, that's for sure, because this has just been an amazing journey. And it totally has just brought my um, faith in the Lord stronger. After some celebratory snacks, kids were walked to classrooms with teachers leading the way. The things that we have heard is there's no way you can do it. There's no way. You're, you're, you're just crazy. And each time we have done this <laughs> and we have, we have achieved our dream here. The cost for phase one of the Academy's move is nearly $100,000. In phases two and three, the Academy plans to build a new library, gymnasium, and more classrooms. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21. Coming up, Madras High School had its own ribbon cutting for a new soccer facility. We were on hand to check out the new digs. Plus, two Central Oregon families are raising money so kids can have their wishes come true. Their story up next. You might not realize it, but if your home's lacking proper insulation, your heating and cooling system could be wasting money. And it's not just older homes either. In 2021, Oregon updated its energy codes, meaning even newer homes may be under-insulated. Call the Schutz Roofing and Insulation for a free inspection and see how they can not only extend the life of your HVAC system, but also lower your bills and save you even more with energy trust incentives. The Schutz Roofing and Insulation. Right now, get $100 off any insulation job. The wait is finally over, and you must see this place. The staff at Subaru of Bend has happily ditched their hard hats and settled into their new, gorgeous, state-of-the-art facility. No matter what your needs are, swing by Subaru of Bend on Highway 20 under the big American flag or check them out online at SubaruofBend.com and save the date for the big grand opening party Saturday, September 23rd. Subaru of Bend, a Thomas family dealership serving Central Oregon since 1937. The first day of school, a time for new beginnings, new friends, and new memories. We want to see how your child is starting off the new school year. Enter the Dutch Bros of Central Oregon Back to School Photo Sweepstakes. Submit your photos to our website and you'll be entered into a sweepstakes to win a $150 gift package from Dutch Bros Coffee of Central Oregon. Your photos could also be featured Wednesdays on News Channel 21 at sunrise. Enter the Dutch Bros Coffee of Central Oregon Back to School Photo Sweepstakes today. News Channel 21, Central Oregon's news leader. You know what's important to you, and we know news. 
When you need local news you can trust, trust in a 45-year Central Oregon news legacy. And we don't take that for granted. On air, online, on the go, and on your time. News Channel 21, local news you can trust. Central Oregon, don't miss Family Feud weekdays at 7.30 on KTVZ. Make-A-Wish Oregon families are coming together to make more wishes come true. Kelsey McGee tells us how they plan to make it all possible. Make-A-Wish Oregon was formed in 1983. It's granted the wishes of more than 5,000 children living in Oregon and Clark County, Washington. Right now, uh, the average cash cost of a wish is roughly $7,500. Um, so we need to raise you know, about that to make a wish come true. Make a wish helps to grant wishes for children with critical illnesses, such as cancer, heart disease, liver transplants, and brain tumors. Two Central Oregon families who know the power of a wish created a first of its kind event called Wishes and Dishes. We wanted to host an event that brought the community together, uh, chefs, beverage partners, and we have more than 10 restaurants participating. It's going to be a lot of fun and four beverage partners and it's there's going to be a silent auction. It's going to be a great time. Sarah Williamson's son, seven-year-old Grant, was diagnosed with cancer at age two. We're so fortunate to have had the experience to go on a Make-A-Wish trip, and it was a blast. Where do we go? Disney World. Grant went into remission in 2020. After the Wish experience, his family wanted to stay involved. Grant was named a Wish ambassador to share his story and be the face of their mission to raise awareness and funds. Every year, 10 kids are selected from all over the state to be WISH ambassadors. We know that families are going through unimaginably hard times when their child is facing a critical illness like cancer or heart disease or undergoing a liver transplant, kidney transplant. Um, and we know that this impacts not just the kids, but the entire families and all who support them in their fight. So while we know that times are difficult, we really strive to be that hope uh, for families Wishes and Dishes will bring together restaurants like Zydeco Kitchen and Cocktails, Bangers and Brews, and Deschutes Brewery. It's next Sunday at the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship in Bend. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21. Just a good-looking day around the region. This is the Black Butte Ranch Cam looking out at the Cascades. It's lovely. Will it stay that way? I'll have details. Weather has a habit of being all over the place and can find its way into your home. So, to stay ahead of issues before they arise, call Ponderosa. Our team of experts are waiting to connect you with licensed technicians. Whether it's heating, cooling, electrical, plumbing, or drain assistance, we have you covered. Because at Ponderosa, we believe in providing a white glove service that is fast, easy, and reliable. Book online at ponderosaheating.com and discover all the ways we can keep you comfortable. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York-style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember you threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. But you don't have to do it alone, that's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York-style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. People are irrational, but predictably so. Which is why the FBI calls for me. Who do you think you are? James Bond. Take out the remote back out. The Irrational, September 25th on NBC and streaming on Peacock. We find missing people who have slipped through the cracks and we bring them home. I will do anything to bring people home. New case. We make quite the partnership, don't we? Found October 3rd on NBC and streaming on Peacock. News Channel 21 is brought to you in part by Central Oregon Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 
Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. Mostly clear skies today, but uh, there may be a hint of a little bit of smoke, and you can see a little bit of that brown haze uh, off past the mountains there to the west and a bit to the south as we do take a look uh, from our Mount Bachelor cam. But the air quality reports have all come in on the green side, so things looking pretty nice moving forward through the next couple of hours at least as we do have good air quality. It's warming up and dry. We're going to stay dry through the weekend. We definitely could use some rain. I showed you the drought monitor earlier in the show and yeah we are still in a good portion of Deschutes and Crook County in the severe drought range and this is officially the last weekend of summer uh, the astronomical summer which is ending on the 22nd just before midnight uh, as the direct rays of the sun go right over top of the equator that's the autumnal equinox here's a look at the air quality report for all our reporting stations everybody in the green so nice air quality for us now uh, we are looking at good air quality again for tomorrow and Saturday. So apart from the heat, we are looking pretty decent as far as the forecast is concerned if you like clear skies and temps more summer-like than fall-like. Wind gusts will be noticeable uh, overnight and then relax a bit going into the wee hours of the morning and then at 10 a.m. Uh, really not going to be all that robust. They'll pick up a bit in the afternoon as usual uh, and uh, the flow is generally from the north and east. Our high temperature today we're on the almost hot side. I go with 90 degrees being hot. It was hot in Warm Springs with 90, but we're talking mid to low 80s everywhere else, which is more August than September for certain. Here's a look at the temperatures now. 82 degrees in Lapine, Sisters, Bend, Prineville seems to be the favored number. We've got 81 uh, in Sun River as we look for the lows tonight. It's going to be cool. Temps in the 30s in Sun River and Lapine will be in the 40s and 50s. Other locales, 50s being Warm Springs. And highs tomorrow, that's a 96 in Warm Springs. It's going to be hot. 92 in Madras, 89 is what I expect in Bend. And uh, here is the reason why high pressure in control. Now there is this cold front that does appear to be moving toward the coast. That's going to get gobbled up and dissipate through time as the ridge will overtake the area and give us that warm scenario moving forward through Friday. Saturday, we continue to see that heat coming up from the south and west. So this is going to be our warmest day. And then as we get into Sunday, we'll still feel like summer temps in the 80s. Uh, and we'll see that uh, last gasp of summer move on through. Here is a look at the weekend forecast for you. We'll start out with 61 at 9 a.m., go to 90 on Saturday. Sunday looks like a 62 start and an 86 to finish. The seven-day out Look has an 86 on Sunday, as I just mentioned, but back to the 70s Monday and Tuesday, and some showers will cool us into the 60s on Wednesday. That's a look at your local alert weather. Primetime lineup is brought to you by Powderhouse. Patio furniture clearance sale going on now. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think we should hire more people. Talk. Late for a meeting. Hey, we need to build a home office. We we're adding another bathroom. We need a warehouse. I can't imagine how we do that. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank, privately owned, locally invested. Attention homeowners, upgrading your home may lead to a significant reduction in energy costs. Federal tax credits are available now to help you reduce your carbon footprint while saving you money. Due to the Inflation Reduction Act, tax credits are available for the following. Insulation, windows, heat pumps, solar infrastructure. For more information on these credits and others, as well as support for families with lower to moderate incomes, go to energystar.gov. This announcement presented by Green Savers. Better homes, smarter living. Wildfire season can put the whole of Central Oregon on edge. Be prepared with News Channel 21 Fire Alert. We're ready to deliver the most updated and detailed fire information that you need quickly. News Channel 21 Fire Alert is here to keep you and your family safe, covering all possible angles to make sure our community is informed. Fire Alert is available at your fingertips 24-7 on KTVZ.com, on air, and on the apps. 
Tuesday, only on the CW. You take advantage of the moment. Inside the NFL is back. How excited are you? Join Ryan Clark, Chris Long, Channing Crowder, Jay Cutler, and Chad Johnson. He's a home run hitter. As they break down the past week's action. It's about the run game. And preview all the big matchups in the week ahead. It is the survival of the fittest. Every game, every moment, every week. All night long, this is about us. Inside the NFL, this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. 21 Cares for Kids. Big Old Fish is brought to you by PAR, your home and outdoor project experts for over 90 years. All right, fishing friends, get those rods and reels ready. Yeah, it's time for Big Old Fish. So let's start things off with Tom Greiske. Tom reeled in this 28-inch rainbow trout out of the Russian River in Alaska. An awesome catch there. That's a good-looking fish. Look at that. that that's a good-looking fish. Yes. Up next, we have Seth Barron, who caught several rainbow trout Ooh. out of North Twin Lake. Save some of the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me take a look at what we have here. Kent Newman reeled in a 20-pound bull trout out of Lake Billy Chinook. Look at that big old fish. 20 pounds. Yeah, excellent fish. Kate McAllister caught a red band trout out of Fall River. That's a beautiful fish. Nice job, Kate. And we got a couple more to take a look at. Here is E.J. Petrullis. Reeled in this three-pound smallmouth bass out of the Snake River. Look at that job. I hope I pronounced your name right. Sorry about that. Bo caught this beautiful rainbow trout out of the Snake River. Good catch there, Bo. Yeah, now join us, uh, join in on the fun by sending us your big old fish photos and uploading them through the share tab on our website. Be sure to include the type and size of your fish where you reeled it in and who's you in your photo so we don't have to guess about it. And if we did, we'd be wrong. Yes. Central Oregon, John, has some spectacular views. Yes, it does. Does the new self-serve gasoline law have you confused? Don't worry. Stop and Go Shell on the east side of Bend is here for you. Always providing the amazing customer service you expect from us. We still pump your gas, wash your windows, and take your trash. But if you do want to pump your own fuel, you can. And we will be here to assist if needed. Stop and refuel, refresh, and recharge at Stop and Go Shell on the corner of Highway 20 and 27th Street across from Costco. Wildland firefighters are the brave men and women who stand on the front line to protect millions of acres of our forests, our communities, and our natural resources from wildfires. They work long hours in dangerous conditions, and they put their lives on the line to keep us safe. Wildland firefighters are heroes. We owe them a debt of gratitude. Keep Oregon Green and Pat Rick Environmental say thank you, wildland firefighters, for your bravery, your hard work, and your dedication to keeping us safe. Over 70% of wildfires are caused by humans. So think before you strike a match. Flick your cigarette or use equipment that can cause sparks. And always have tools on hand to put a fire out because firefighters are already putting their lives at risk. And it's everyone's responsibility to help prevent human-caused wildfires. End the trend and help us all keep Oregon green. Learn more about preventing wildfires at keeporegongreen.org. News Channel 21 knows local weather. From the farmer's market to the golf course and all your favorite mountain bike trails. When you need to know, you can trust your local alert weather team. We are here to get you ready for whatever weather is on the horizon. On air, online, and on the go. When you need us, we're here. Trust in our 45 year Central Oregon legacy. News Channel 21 local alert weather. Forecasts you can plan on. I reiterate, yeah. Central Oregon has some spectacular views. And it sure does. And here's the proof. Photos you've sent to us from this week's Out and About. 